Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Straight Outta Content where I show you information on NFTs and cryptocurrency. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to delete an NFT from OpenSea. In my last video, I showed you how to delete an NFT from Mintable, but today, but today we're going to show you how to delete an NFT from OpenSea. If this video is valuable to you, please consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and jump into my computer. Okay guys, so we are here in my computer and we are here at OpenSea. Now, as you see, unlike Mintable, I do use Mintable up here for my straight out of content already minted NFTs. I think I'm gonna stick with Mintable. I like everything about them. I love their layup, their layout. It's not really recommended to mint your NFT on both marketplaces. So I'm gonna continue to mint on Mintable, but I'm gonna show you guys a really cool trick on how to delete your um, NFT on OpenSea. The reason why I'm showing you this is because if I do more tutorials on NFTs, I'd like to be able to delete them. I do not want people accidentally purchasing them or, you know, I don't want any issues moving forward. So I'm gonna use OpenSea to do a lot of my tutorials. So today we're gonna go ahead and show you how to delete an NFT. Unfortunately, right now in my profile, I do not have any NFTs to delete. But what I do like about OpenSea is that you can create and delete an NFT very easy. Unfortunately, you can't really do that in Mintable, but if you do not know, you can go ahead and check out my video on Mintable, but in OpenSea, they make it extremely easy to delete an NFT. Now, whether or not it's really deleted, I don't know, but at least it's not in my collection, so whenever somebody were to come here, they would see nothing. So, we're gonna go ahead and create an NFT. So, the first thing we need to do, make sure your MetaMask wallet or whatever wallet you use is already set up. So you can link your account, go ahead and click create. And all I'm gonna do is, the first thing, if you do not know how to create an NFT, uh, I will, there's another video on my channel specifically about that, how to do it for free, so go check out that video. This is for people who already have an NFT and do not know how to delete it. Maybe they accidentally made uh, a test one like I did and you wanna delete it because you don't want it part of your collection. So we're gonna go in here, first thing you need to do in OpenSea is uh, add a picture or whatever you need to add. I'm gonna add my Papa Jim. Uh, it's my grandfather, I love him so much. So <laughs> I also got some merch that's gonna be on the channel so you guys can check it out at fcdvinylandapparel.com. Uh, I'll be selling some merch and it'll be my grandfather's face on it. Really, I don't know if I'm gonna sell it, but it's definitely something that I'm gonna wear. So I'm just gonna name it Pop, because that's his nickname, Papito. It's like, um, and the description is just gonna be Pop. Again, I don't have to get too detailed because we are going to delete this. I just wanna show you guys how to delete an NFT. Now we're gonna scroll down in OpenSea, how to delete an NFT in OpenSea. So we're gonna scroll around. And none of this information I really don't care about. I don't care about freeze. I don't care about Ethereum or blockchain. I don't ever care about, care about that. Even if I was to take this serious, again, it wouldn't bother me because in OpenSea and in Mintable and all the marketplaces, you can create and mint an NFT for free. And you have the option to sell directly to the consumer and avoid paying gas fees. To me, I think that that's the best way to go. The only thing that sucks is whenever you do sell it on a marketplace, you do get to make like 10,000 of them. You have to pay a gas fee on that, but you're only paying a small gas fee or whatever the uh, fee is at that time. But you get to make 10,000 if you decide to sell on the marketplace versus making each NFT one by one. So like these and... Um, Mintable, these NFTs, this is a one of one. There's not 10,000 of these, these are all one of one. So if somebody buys it, that person has a responsibility of reselling it or keeping it as I grow. So we go back into OpenSea, I'm gonna go ahead and hit create, and it's gonna create, boom. Great, you just created, pop, pop. You created, pop, great. Now my NFT is real, it's available. Um, I didn't put any price on it or anything like that but you can make an offer. With Mintable, whenever you create an NFT, you put the price right there. So even this crap NFT, I think is going for like 99 bucks. It might be a little less. Oh, I'm sorry, it's at make offer now because I tried to cancel it. But let me see my other NFTs. Uh, all of these are created and minted. Is this an NFT? Oh, that's right, this one was the, uh, this one, this one, this one has a price. This one has a price. So yeah, see, this one has a price because the other one were auctioned. So now they're, whenever you, I'll get into that video later, but whenever you make an auctionable NFT, if you, if after the end of the auction, you all you get is a make offer. Uh, these right here are fixed price. So um, I put it in around like 200. I think Ethereum dropped a little bit. So now it's right around 176, but I can send this link to anybody, any one of you out there watching, I can send this link to you and you can purchase it, or the link will be in the description below, and you can actually click and purchase this NFT, and then it's yours. So I have that one, I have the original, I also have the Straight Outta Saitama. 
I think this is one of the auction ones. Yeah, this is one of the auction ones, so you can shoot me an offer. And then the last NFT is straight out of content. It's my original, the, the OG. Uh, see, that's why I have it for so much because it's the drift and it's the uh, $500 one. So again, get back to OpenSea. Unfortunately, you can't list a price whenever you do that, but the person still can. You can. I can still send this link and I'll show you. Uh, I'm gonna hit here, I'm gonna copy link uh, just for craps and giggles. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna go to compose. Oh, we don't want you guys reading anybody's emails. We're gonna go to compose. Oh, so we got sales going on all the time. We're gonna go to compose, we're gonna go straight out of content. We're gonna send pop, P-O-P. -P. And then we're gonna paste the link, control V, boom. So that's the, that's the link to this. And then we'll come over here to my email and we'll hit refresh. And we'll hit uh, maybe refresh again because it just got sent. And again, for uh, I'm going to have to open this in a, another window because uh, it has everything saved. So there it is. It just buzzed on my phone. So it has everything saved. So if I open this in a non like cookies window, it's just going to take me back into my account. So we come here. We're just going to click this. We're going to click a uh, copy link address. We're going to go back over here. We're going to paste it and it's going to bring it up, paste and go, boom, boom. So it's going to load and here, make an offer. So here I can, if I have a MetaMask wallet, I can actually make an offer for this. So again, I can send this to somebody in my family say, hey, look, I made an NFT with my grandfather or with our grandfather. Would you like to buy it? Or, um, you know, would you like to own it? Who in the family would like to own it? Send the link to everybody and people can choose. People can make an offer or if you're a YouTuber or a content creator, Instagram, whatever, and you want to create an NFT, you can sell directly to your consumer. That's really where the wave is going. But for the sake of this video, I do not want to do that. So we're going to jump back in and I would like to delete this NFT. I do not want it in my collection. Whenever people come to this link, um, I do not want people to see this NFT. So you're going to go over here to edit. You're going to scroll down and it's delete item. So again, I'll start from the beginning. If you go to profile and open C, you're gonna click your NFT, you're gonna hit edit, and this is what I love about open C. This is why I will continue to do most of my um, videos and showing you guys how to create things in, in open C, because I can create and delete like that. So we're gonna scroll down, you're gonna hit delete item. Again, you don't have to check anything because you want it deleted. And I've already created this off camera so that I can make sure that it works for you guys. So we're gonna hit delete item, and are you sure you want to delete this item? This uh, this can only be done if you own all uh, copies in circulation, which I do, because there are no copies in circulation. And I hit delete item. And delete changes will take a minute to reflect. So you can see, I'll show you guys live play-by-play. -play. <laughs> Make sure you guys check out my lives. So right now it's still there. So we'll give it a minute. I think it took about two minutes to actually delete. So you know all you gotta do is keep hitting refresh. And it's still there. So we're just going to hit refresh again. It really doesn't take that many that long, about as long as it took for the email to send. So that could be about maybe a minute. We haven't even hit 636 yet. I'll hit refresh again. And this you guys don't think I'm playing around. So it's still there, but it's trying to delete like it's going through the system and it's trying to delete. So I'm going to hit refresh again. I think by the time this says 636, it'll be done. But that's how you delete an NFT from OpenSea. And again, it's very easy. It's a lot easier to delete it from OpenSea than it is from uh, Rarible. So I'm going to hit refresh one more time because we're at 636. Ah, it started to blink. I think it's there. We'll click it. See if it actually, ah, see, oops, something went wrong. Yikes, it looks like something went wrong, right? I don't need a context support. It is deleted. So we're going to go back over to profile. It's still there, but it's the delete process is taking about a minute. And it's still there because I did this right before I hit record on the video. So again, it's a really raw video, but I just want to show you guys the power of an NFT and how you can create and delete them, especially in OpenSea, extremely easy. And if you're doing this, obviously you're not going to be on camera doing this. So you're just going to be confirmed that your uh, NFT is deleted. Excuse me. Ah, finally, there we go. No more items to display. So as you guys can see, no more items to display. We are completely done. There are no more NFTs in my in my collection. Again, this is what I'm, I might put straight into content here. I might put my logo here, but this right here is just to show you guys how to delete an NFT from your OpenSea account. It's a little different in each one. I don't, in each marketplace, I don't know how it works in Rarible. I use Mintable and OpenSea. 
So moving forward, I will probably continue to use OpenSea to show you guys how to create free NFTs, how to sell your NFTs, how to create a market, your own marketplace for your NFTs, since you can share all of these to Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that. Say share on Facebook, share on Twitter and a copy link. So there's really zero reason why your specific work needs to be combobulated and basically overshadowed by all the big giants and these big companies that continue to smash the market with their NFTs. You can, if you have a little, if you have a small business or if, you, or if you're a high schooler or something like that and you're already selling something else, now you can sell an NFT or you can uh, NFT something that you already have. For example, I'm gonna be NFT in my daughter's artwork. She makes really amazing, unique art and I'm gonna create an NFT for each piece and then I'm going to create an art gallery that you're on, only the people who have the NFT are allowed to come to. Now, again, she's nine. So, you know, who might show up depending on who purchased this, this NFT, but really it's for a long-term thing and a long-term business uh, idea. So again, guys, if you guys really like this content, please consider subscribing. I'm trying really hard to produce a lot of NFT content as we right now, when you're watching this video in 2022, we are still at the very genesis of NFTs and how they can work. Again, I believe that selling directly to the consumer, you creating and then selling to the consumer is going to be the strength of NFTs, not necessarily the marketplace. All right, guys, you know my slogan. Be basic. Peace.